you can save a lot of money if you do it yourself. Yeah. Plus, you could claim that you do build your motor. You didn't. I missed. I missed the boost though. Do a quick check. Good. This is the P13 water pump gear for H22. In today's video, as you saw it, I just removed the F23 water pump gear, and I am going to show you how to install the H22 water pump gear. Welcome back, Sagit Net 2. This is another G23 VTEC build project the last two videos that you guys saw or you have seen I just got done installing the uh, plugs so I can delete my balance shaft and also I just got done with the uh, oil pump I've shown you how I did a quick check piston to wall clearance on this bad boy and I also honed the cylinders enough to get that piston ring seated for new beginners, and some of you will be asking, why do all that modification when you're building a G23 VTEC? I'm only going to talk about G23 VTEC just to prevent some confusion. There are two versions of this. You have a non-VTEC one and a VTEC version, which is, this is what I'm going to talk about. Since we are using an H22 head, to build a G23 VTAC, anything that's H22 timing belt touches, you have to replace or use the parts from H22. Lucky for us that the water pump, that we can replace the F23 gear with an H22. And I'm going to talk a little bit about this also. There's a hidden secrets on this one. <laughs> I just don't want anyone to get caught you know, with their pants down or something. Crankshaft, timing belt pulley, you have to replace that. I have a timing belt here to show you the difference between the two also. Well, as you can see, there's two different sizes right there. But it's better to, uh, to show you why are we changing that gear. Very inexpensive. And you know what? This is made in USA also, right there. See right there? Made in USA. So if you buy this, you know you're saving someone's job here in the USA. Okay, we're gonna start with the P13. It's right on. And this is the F23. See the difference? That's yeah, not right. So it will be the same thing if you don't change the crankshaft timing belt pulley. So you must use a P13 crankshaft pulley also. Alright, that's out of the way. 
I also have a few uh, water pump here for H22 that I can show you the difference. Earlier I have said about the, uh, I don't want you guys to get caught with your pants down or something about this. The H22 pump, when it comes to aftermarket, we ended up having two sizes. One is smaller than the other. This one right here, GMB, this is for H22. We ran into this before. It's too loose, right? And then I have other three which has the same sizes. I think that brand right there is Honda and it fits right on. It's a press fit. There's about 3,000 of an inch difference. So there is no need for you to put a Loctite on this. You're just gonna end up smearing that Loctite right about in that area. So there's no need to put the, a Loctite. Let me show you the difference. This is uh, 0.674 and the water pump is 0.677 So there's about 3,000 of an inch difference between the two so there's no need to, to put a Loctite on there. In a scenario where you have a water pump, let's say that you got a water pump, whether it's used or brand new, nowadays you can get this for less than $35. And all you need really is just this. This is what you're after. So find the cheapest that you could get and get that one. Well, just in case that that shaft is a little bit smaller, than the original one and when you try it on to this no problem all you need to do is get a a big drill bit which is the same size as this well less than that one and drill it through uh, the size on this is 4364 right there So there's always a solution. If you ever gonna walk into an auto parts store and if you want to buy whether it's F23 or H22, just do a visual. I mean, you could, you could see it. You could spot on if one is bigger than the other. Bring a tape measure with you or caliper. That way you don't have to get caught, that way you don't have to end up buying, you know, a drill bit. So you just want to save some money, that's all. Alright, um, just to let you know, or everyone knows, that you could buy a water pump for a G23 project now. KS Tune sell those, you just have to pay a little more. But this, like I said earlier, that you could get a water pump for less than $35 nowadays. So you could still save. The tooling, you know where I got this tool from. I have to modify this just so it can be useful for me. I ended up changing the bolts, the stud right here, and also the jaw. I have to shave this area right there. And when it was on there, when I was uh, clamping onto this gear, it's slipping off. So what I did, I shaved that area, that raised material right there. It's, it's more like it's uh, additional support for the jaw. Then it worked out good for me. And I think that's just about it. And I'm going to heat this up a little. And I'm going to uh, put it on there. I have a socket here that I can use. I'm going to put it at the back right here. Clamp it in the vise.
till this thing seated flush onto the shaft. And one thing I can add up when you're putting this on your vise and you're putting a socket behind this, this one is flat, right? It doesn't go over that shoulder or the sleeve. Try not to use a socket that will go over it right there. Because sometimes when you put it on the vise and it doesn't go in, you can deform this. You ended up having a problem where the pump will not rotate. That's one thing that uh, we found out before. Make sure I'm square to begin with. Flat side. check make sure I don't go over I think it can use a little more just a little rotates freely with no problem and that is it That's how you install an H22 water pump gear onto an F23 water pump. So with all of these things that I have said earlier, yeah, don't get intimidated on all of those things. What I did here is awareness. So for you guys, if you do run into some issue like this one where it's smaller than the other, there is a solution. Let's get the big drill bit. Yeah. You know what to do. Plus, when you do on your own, you know, you're actually building the motor. You build it, you didn't buy it. If you do have any other questions, something that you want to know, just let me know. Just leave a comment and I will try to answer it as much as I can. If I don't know the answer, I will find it for you. For some of you guys new to my channel, this is another G23 project. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys back. Snow White. Yeah, she's still running strong. The motor runs pretty good. She's all broke in now. No issue whatsoever. I missed I missed the boost though. I sure do. Eh, we'll see. <laughs>